parts here in Pittsburgh are broken over the loss of Hall of Famer Mike Webster, who had in recent years suffered from mental illness and slipped into financial ruin. This is a true story, and this is, you know, even though it takes place between, you know, 2002 and 2012, it's, it's really about now as well. Right, there's an apparently healthy favorite son of this city die in disgrace at 50. There's his ability as an Allegheny County pathologist who sections Mike Webster's brain and finds out about CTE. Get me a meeting with the commissioner. They don't want to talk to you. The NFL has known about the concussion issue for years, but there's the guy that has the guts to ride this all the way. You know, if, he, if he'd walked away and kept his mouth shut, <clears throat> which is probably what most people would have done, I don't think many people would have blamed him. You're going to war with a corporation that owns a day of the week. This is bigger than they are. They have to listen to us now. Part of the, I guess, uh, gift and difficulty, uh, we actually were shooting in Pittsburgh, and so family members and our, our character counterparts were on the set with us. I've been working to look as good as, <laughs> as him. Say, it, is, it is difficult to look as good as this, this man, but I'm doing everything that I can. I have all of these people together to help me look as good as he looks. It was very helpful because any question you had, you could get uh, answered, but it was very disconcerting because of the depth and weight of what the experiences were. Will, let me ask. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, now I feel like an idiot telling you how much I like men in black. <laughs> to play that kind of person, you have to have someone who is warm and funny and charming, and at the same time, somebody who has the psychological intensity and the psychological toughness to be that guy on film. And when I work with Will, it's, uh, it's been a real pleasure because he has all of those things. Go for the top right now. Yeah, yeah. How are you, other boys? Huh? I said, how are you, other boys? Really, I can help you with all of you. Say, so, Alec, we got to go back to It's not about a disease. It's, you know, all of, all stories are about humans failing or succeeding. Really, every story is just about that. When I was a boy growing up in Nigeria, Heaven was here, and America was here. It's got so many contemporary resonances about American culture, you know, about truth, about standing up for justice, what you believe in, um, and, you know, not being bullied. Men, your men, continue to die. Their families left in ruins. Tell the truth. Tell the truth.